What's up, guys? Today, we're in a- We're at SeaWorld! We're in an unfamiliar parking lot. But like Mike said, we're at SeaWorld. Now, many of you may be wondering, like, how? Well, I actually just got an annual pass. It's very, very cheap to get an annual pass here. So, I mean, I'm talking like less than $20 a month. No big down payment. So I figured, why not? I get it for, um, mostly for like the special events, you know, like they got concerts, food festival, the Christmas stuff. Um, don't have a lot of time in the park today because uh, season opener. Maybe ride something. Uh, I've never done Mako because I haven't been here since 2012, I want to say. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I really want to do Mako, but it's mostly going to be like just walking around the park, enjoying the atmosphere for a little bit because we just spent most of our time at Hollywood Studios. Yeah, we're going to go turn in this paper thing I have, uh, pick up my annual pass, and then head into the park for the first time in quite a while. So we are heading over here to self-service ticketing to pick up my annual pass, but take a look. It's this iconic lighthouse with the, the walruses and the seals. All right, let's get my pass. All right, so we're officially in the park. There's my AP. All right, let's go look around. Look at these guys. Hooray marine life. So we're here at Journey to Atlantis. One of the more nostalgic rides in Orlando for me. Even though it's like kind of ruined now. I haven't done it since it's been changed up. Not gonna do it today, but hopefully in the near future, we'll be able to get on it. So we are walking into Antarctica. I have never seen this land. Uh, I know there's a ride here. Um, see what the weight is. Uh, I see a zero. <laughs> I don't know if that means it's down or if it's literally just a, just a, a no weight right now. But <laughs> yeah, we're in Antarctica, even though it, doesn't really feel cold, but you know, it's fine. Well guys, I'm about to ride Mako. It looks so awesome, so I'm gonna do it. It's a 10 minute wait. I'll tell you how it is, I'm so excited. Okay, so I just got off Mako. Wow, it was so, fun so fast the air time was crazy here we have your infinity falls construction can't really see anything but that crane but i guess it's going to be the tallest water drop or something so that's that's pretty cool i guess i'll have to come to the park when that opens like knowing i'm gonna get soaked but i'll probably try it at least once we're passing by this uh rope fun place very uh nostalgic used to play in that all the time when i was a kid I think now it probably wouldn't go well if I attempted to go in there, but like, there it is. So some more uh, oh, yes, SeaWorld nostalgia for you. Wild Arctic. This is one that as a kid, really, the, the ride was okay, but it was really the exhibit you got to check out afterwards. And also, I don't know if they still do this, but over the holidays, they used to overlay it with the Polar Express. I have no idea if they still do it. I, I don't think they do. Hopefully they do, but I'm pretty sure they don't. All right guys, so pretty quick trip. We are about to head out because it's time, almost that time for Orlando City season opener. This vlog is probably like super short, so I'm actually gonna continue it into when I get home, maybe talk about Orlando City a little bit. But yeah, it was, it was fun to be back at SeaWorld. Uh, we were here briefly, got to finally do Mako. We walked around, saw some animals, Mike got some food. It was weird, like I haven't been here in I mean, at least five years, maybe six. And I feel like it hasn't even been that long because like when I went to Disney for the first time, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm back at Disney, this and that. But this, it felt like I just hadn't been gone that long, but it was still really good to see everything again. So yeah, I'll be back here next weekend to see Daughtry, hopefully do a couple more rides. But yeah, gonna head home now. All right, guys, just got done watching the game. I'm pretty uh, 
hoarse right now from yelling, but it was an awesome game. Orlando City managed to pick up the draw, which obviously you prefer a win, but in this situation, there was um there was some pretty uh bad officiating going on, and uh the Lions just they were dominant, you know. Um we were down to ten men for most of the game and we still managed to fight back, score an equalizer late in the game. A lot of our new signings looked really, really good. And this was without Kleschen playing, and without Dwyer playing, and without Roussel playing. So basically what I saw was very promising. I know this is a very short video. We were only in SeaWorld for maybe uh, like an hour and a half. Didn't really uh, have a lot to film. But like I said, I'll be back at SeaWorld next weekend to see Daughtry. I'm going to try to get there earlier so that I can do some more things in the park. So thank you guys for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe for more theme parks, and I will see you guys in the next one.